Hi, my name is Mike Harris. I am the Solution Director for Fuse, our Employee Engagement Solution as a Service. I have worked with Catapult for 21 years and uh, excited to, to be here to talk to you guys about employee engagement. I'm Liam Colopy, and I'm the Chief People Officer for Catapult Systems. I've been with Catapult Systems for 18 years and I lead the recruiting and HR departments. We're here to talk about employee engagement and to define that it's really the uh, amount that employees care about uh, the objectives of the company. And the reason we're here to talk about it uh, as a technology company is despite the billions of dollars spent on technology, we have seen employee productivity remain flat for about a decade. Uh, as well as we've seen employee engagement at many companies actually fall. And so we're gonna look at some of the reasons uh, that that could happen. Uh, talk a little bit about the story uh, of Catapult Systems and how we have gone through our employee engagement journey over the last 20 years, uh, as well as some of the tools and techniques uh, that we're using to uh, reach employees at an all-time record level. Catapult Systems is an IT uh, services and solutions company headquartered in Austin, Texas. Uh, we've been uh, in business for 23 years. We have hundreds of employees across the United States uh, spread across our eight offices. Uh, when I joined Catapult Systems uh, 18 years ago, uh, we were just one office headquartered here in Austin. Right. And, uh, and just by our sheer size, the interaction we had with one another uh, was, was daily, uh, and, and we got a lot of things done without a lot of technology. Right. Uh, morale was very high. Uh, again, interaction was very strong. Uh, we had the lowest turnover in the industry. And, uh, and, and so we didn't need a lot, of, again, a lot of technology right. to support who we were at, the, at that point. And uh, we were humming along and growing as a company. What kind of things were we doing to, to engage employees? I know we did a, uh, something fun around employee boot camps and yes. other things. Every new employee started uh, by going to boot camp. And uh, back in those days, we could usually do it right on the first day. Uh, the CEO would uh, lead boot camp. Uh, it was a fun, interactive uh, day. Yeah. It was one day only. And you learned about the mission of the company who right. we were and the and types he, he wore like combat boots and a bray and he kinda, did kind of uh, made it made it a whole theme and so if we wanted to communicate to the entire employee base back then uh, we had a couple techniques uh, I know one of which was was in-person meetings and we did yes. we did some uh, uh, that were more frequent than some that were yearly. So tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, so we had uh, monthly company meetings. Uh, everybody came to the company meetings and, uh, and and we talked about what was going on. We've always been a very transparent company, uh, sharing the numbers, where we are, how well we're doing, and if we weren't doing well, what we what it, we needed to do to make sure that we got back on track. Uh, we had public recognition for, for our people, uh, for the employees to, to recognize one another, core value awards, uh, tenure awards, Everything was done uh, very in, in an open forum so that uh, everybody could really enjoy and celebrate uh, with each right. other. So Liam, a lot of success. Uh, engaged employees led to company success, which then led to company growth, Yeah, uh, both ge geographically, uh, but also as in, in headcount. So yeah. uh, tell us a little bit about some of the challenges as we grew uh, to be a, a larger, more geographically dispersed company. Okay. So in the mid to late 2000s is where we really saw an increase in, in our national growth. So after 20 years of a strong employee engagement and a strong company culture, uh, we really started to see, again, some some turnover that we weren't used to seeing. Right. Uh, people were not coming to our, our fun events any longer. Uh, company meeting attendance uh, fell off. And, and so we we're really struggling uh, to figure out what we needed to do next right. to re-engage the company. Uh, so Liam, we knew we needed to address our employee engagement challenge. Uh, and we knew that the, uh, the concept of a, of a digital workplace was where we wanted to end up. What we wanted to have was more engaged employees, uh, less turnover, uh, and uh, the, what we found was the answer was not new levels of management and new levels of hierarchy. Uh, so we had to take a different approach. Uh, yes. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what, what we did okay. to start out? Well, we actually flattened our organization quite a bit uh, where it made sense uh, depending on the business unit and its size. But ultimately, we started with the human piece of it, the, 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 right. the people piece of our business, uh, which is our employees. And, uh, and we put somebody in charge of employee engagement, uh, which was me. Uh, I, I took on that role and uh, primarily, at least when we started the role, I was going around to all of our business units. I was talking to our employees, regardless of role, to find out what was working for them here at Catapult, what wasn't working for them, uh, you know, why they were still here at Catapult Systems and what kept them here. Right. And I got 
so much information just by meeting with uh, our employees for 15 to 20 minutes and helping to understand who they are and what really drives them as people. But we also put a, a cultural ambassador in place here at Catapult Systems. That person really focuses on making sure that we're maintaining a strong culture of, uh, of teamwork, trust, and fun across our organization, uh, whether that be events, uh, in-person events across the business units. Uh, we found that uh, we weren't doing those consistently anymore when morale had started to, to, to wane a little bit, uh, making sure the company meetings happen, uh, sending out just fun things throughout the, the week or the month that uh, people can engage across the company with. In fact, we, we put together a program called the Brainiac Games, which is a, a trivia game that we were able to run digitally across our entire organization. Uh, and everybody was putting together teams and, and competing, and it was a, a lot of fun, something that right. we hadn't been able to do uh, prior to you know implementing some of the technology that we have right. to support that. So we're able to bring our, our teams back together as one even though they're all in different locations. Uh, tell, tell us some, uh, another story about where you maybe connected employees digitally. I know there was some uh, around the beginning of the year people are wanting to do some New Year's resolutions and we were able to enable that and have our culture ambassador yeah. drive it. So, so we, we put together uh, uh, Catapult Across America where people were uh, doing a Fitbit challenge where we uh, helped subsidize people buying a Fitbit and we had a huge competition across the entire organization. We even built an application to support and track who was doing what uh, in their step challenge uh, each and every day. Uh, they were able to interact within the application we built, but also within Yammer. So there was a lot of trash talking, if you will, going back and forth and, and competitive uh, right. juices were flowing and, and that everybody wanted to win the, the challenge. Uh, we called it Catapulta Across America and you could track on the little map where everybody was and how close they were to the next office. Right. And so it was a, a really engaging way to start off the year and, and got people, uh, new people and old people alike that had been here uh, for you know, a long time or even just a few months right. together uh, to, to get to know one another and to have some fun together. Liam, as we transitioned to this new digital workplace and, and new uh, methods for engaging employees, we had to really th rethink our employee portal. Employees did not seem to think it was very important or strategic. A lot of the content had gotten old, yeah. uh, gotten stale. So yeah. uh, tell us a little bit about how the thought process went behind uh, of where to get started with that and, yeah. and what, we, what we started with first. Well, as you said, the, the old intranet uh, was uh, out of date. The, the the content on it, because of the shifts we had gone through in uh, leadership and management and different styles of operating, uh, started making the portal obsolete. Uh, ultimately, I, I think the, the biggest challenge for us is that uh, the, the people weren't interacting with the portal any longer. It wasn't something that they went to on a daily basis because they right. found it irrelevant and the information on it was irrelevant. Uh, now that we've moved over to, to Fuse uh, in the Office 365 platform, Form, uh, th we have content owners that own the content every single day. So they, they can refresh it at any given point. We don't have to depend on going to IT to do that. We have site content right. owners that actually do that and, and keep that information alive and so, well. So the old way, maybe you needed a, a web developer or someone with some special knowledge of how to update a website. Yes. And with Fuse, uh, we have people identified that own the different parts of the the business that also own the matching part of the portal. So as part of our, our portal, we're using that to communicate very relevant, important things. And recently, uh, Microsoft awarded uh, Catapult, uh, the biggest award we've ever won, uh, their partner of the year uh, for the United States. And uh, so how, how did we communicate that to our employees? Our uh, CEO, David Fees, has his own blog, and we've integrated that with our engagement platform. Right. And uh, it's, it's amazing because it's front and center, and it's, it's something that's visually pleasing, so people will click on it. Uh, we announced the award through, through the, his blog, and uh, we found out through the analytics uh, on the back end that we are now able to capture that 85% uh, of our employees actually went in there, clicked on it, and read the, read the right. announcement about becoming U.S. Partner of the Year. And, and all that, the blog software and the analytics and the follow-ups, all just included with Fuse, right? It's, everything's in there, yes. Right. So uh, I think another story that, uh, that is, we could tell about the, the new Catapult portal is that through analytics, uh, we were able to determine the most accessed and the most used part of the portal, uh, which was actually a, a little bit of a surprise uh, from a data standpoint, but not a surprise from a culture standpoint. So, so what, what was the most used part of our portal? Well, it's what we call our mug shots. Uh, it's actually our, our employee directory, yeah. and uh, and people like to go in and see who the new employees are, or if and they're going to a new office, they like to, to be able to see who's in that office so that when they go so there, So I can they, search for employees, yes. and I can see their picture. 
and then yeah. learn a little bit about it. Yeah, you can whittle down to understand what their email addresses are, their contact information, what they like to do if they want to put that information in there. Right. Uh, so you can find out about the, the people of our organization and have a little more uh, intimate knowledge of who they are and uh, what they do for our company uh, just by the click of a right. button. You know, the technology has not been holding us back. We've had the ability to have uh, pictures and, and personal websites with the Microsoft platform for over a decade. Uh, I think where we've lacked is the process and the analytics and the follow through. Uh, all the things that Fuse uh, really offers uh, to help make your employee portal a more strategic uh, part of your employee engagement and your digital workplace strategy. Yeah, and then, and then also, uh, we don't want to forget that the human element of this is, is just as important. Making sure that managers have the right training and the tools to be successful and building those relationships with people. Trust is an important part of all of this. And if people don't, if employees don't have that relationship with their manager, uh, all the tools and technology don't matter. So it's important to keep the human element in place and make sure that they have the right training to be successful as well.